Hey fellow equestrians, I'm going to another show. It's going to be my first A show ever. We're going to go down there today, school Thursday and Friday, and then I show Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully everything goes great, maybe qualify for pony finals. If not, we have next week and still many more opportunities after that. <laughs> Listen to this. This is why I don't like vlogging in here. Uh huh. Okay, so the absolute weirdest thing just happened. So we went to get Charlotte measured, and I was grazing her, and then this guy comes up in a car. I told my trainer I was like joking because we joke about everything that involves pony I was like he's here to come take the pony just let him try and blah 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 well he got out of his car walked up to me he couldn't really speak great English and it was really awkward he was like can I take a picture picture pony you know picture horse so we thought he meant just take a picture of Charlotte we were like oh yeah okay we were already kind of weirded out by him <laughs> And this dude, okay, so he starts scratching Charlotte, then he freaking hops on her. Like, I'm not joking. He just hops on her without a helmet. He's not even a rider. Charlotte started, like, spinning and trying to get him off his back. Halfway hanging off, and he fell off. It was so weird. I got freaked out by that. I'm shook! <laughs> and she did so good way calmer than yesterday and I'm so excited to show tomorrow <laughs> I'm literally the only one from my barn showing not even my trainers are showing I feel so exclusive <laughs>
great today. I'm so proud of her. Currently, we are in reserve, so hopefully we can keep it up and qualify for Pony Finals. But we're just going to go out there and do the best that we can. Anyways, I have a story time. Don't I always? So while I was waiting for my confirmation class, there was this little girl, and she was looking at Charlotte, and I was like, you can pet her, you know, because I'm nice, and who wouldn't want to pet a horse? I turned around, and this girl's whole family was petting Charlotte. And who's the dad? No. It couldn't be. How's that possible? Girl, you tripping. Guys. 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 You wanna know who it was? You, you wanna know who it was? It was the guy who freaking hopped on Charlotte. It was him. You can't understand my emotions I was going through then. <laughs> what? Yeah. And apparently he could speak better English this time. First of all, he had like five children. Okay. All petting Charlotte. Charlotte does not like to be touched very much. Just, just to let you know. You touch her face, she'll bite you. You touch her legs, she'll kick you. You touch her body, she'll move over on you. Okay? But to make matters worse than what they already are, <sighs> he put probably his three-year-old son this far away from Charlotte's legs. His three-year-old son, three years old, right on Charlotte's legs. Now, as some of you may know, Charlotte really likes to stomp. Here's a video. And she does that a lot. You don't understand already how nervous I was about all of them petting her. And then the fact that Charlotte could have stomped and hurt that child. Don't know. It's too overwhelming, okay? I was about to show, guys. You can't do this to me now. Not now! And then, then, he asks if he can put his child on Charlotte while he's already holding the child ready to be put on Charlotte. And I was like, no, no, only pets. Why didn't you just move, Justine? Why didn't I just move? See, that would be the logical thing to do in that situation, right? Just say, oh, gotta go, sorry. Get all of them off of her and just leave. But here's where Charlotte and I were standing. Here's her head and here's a ditch. Here are the children. If I were to turn her, she would have bumped into all those children knocking them over. If I were to go straight, we would have fallen into the ditch. If I were to back her up, she would back over those children that were touching her butt. I was trapped. He finally took his child away from his leg and some girl stopped petting her. So I said my goodbyes and they all stepped back and I could turn her and they didn't bump into anyone luckily because they only backed up like an inch, guys. An inch. An inch. So that was my story.
Oh, the big afro is coming. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's coming. Oh, look, it's a cute pony. <laughs> so cute. So cute. So adorable cute. pony. Oh, adorable. Charlotte did so good today. Unfortunately, we didn't get a champion. We didn't have a warm up. She refused in my first hunter. My second hunter was good. She had a bit of a spook, but and in the model class, she stood so surprisingly still until, of course, the judge came over and she kicked out some flies, undoing her stance. Overall, I'm super happy with how she did this week, and I can't wait for next week. Thank you for watching. Join me next time. Bye. Goodbye. Are you gonna be a good girl? Oh gosh, she just shook her head no. Ready to rock it this weekend? Oh, shook her head no. Whoops.